What up, everybody? It's your boy, this month's nigga head in the house, coming with a brand new video. As always, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to hit that notification button on the front of my home page so you know when all my YouTube videos drop. I'm going to be doing a quick sneaker story. I was going to do it on the unboxing video, but I wanted to do it separately because these really mean a lot to me in terms of these shoes. And um, a lot of people always question, like, why do you pick up, why do you uh, collect sneakers? You know, what, what's the significance? Well, every sneaker you get, whether it be new or old, has a story attached to it, at least for me. And these right here are a prime example. We have the Air More Up Tempos. Now, um, these released uh, a couple days ago through Nike, along with other retailers like RU Villa, I'm sorry, Villa, Kicks USA, and a few others. I got my pair from Kicks USA because Nike sold out and they were all just random drops. Again, they should be doing an official, like global release on the 21st. I know with like Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs, etc. I should have them then. So if you didn't score a pair, hold out. Instead of paying the 250 to 275, a lot of people are asking for them. Wait a little while longer, you should be able to scoop a pair for retail. But this shoe right here has a lot of significance. I was actually never able to get this shoe when I was younger. In about 10th grade is when these first dropped. And they had two versions. The more up tempo with the full um, Nike Air unit. I believe this is Zoom Air, but I could be wrong. Anybody uh, let me know if it's Zoom or Max Air in the description below. But um, they came with the more up tempo than the much up tempo. Much up tempo had the same Air silhouette, but only a heel unit. And the materials were a little bit less, like it didn't come with the the uh, the straps around the you know in between the lace locks it didn't have that but other than that it was an identical shoe and I believe it just had Nike Air here it didn't have the swoosh but I'll leave some pictures up of the much up tempo uh, on here during this uh, this this story but in 10th grade I really wanted these kicks this was actually going to be my first purchase ever of a Nike shoe by myself saved up. Needed them for basketball because, yes, I did play basketball in high school. But uh, I ended up getting the much because it was only about $80 or so at the time. And I, I got them from Foot Locker. These, I believe, were $120 or $130 back in 1997, 96, 97 when, I, when, I, when these first came out. So I had to go with the much on Tempo, but I beat them to death. They only had one size too, so they were bigger than my original size. I had to wear a size 11 and a half or 12 instead of a size 11. But I wore them, I rocked them, and no one noticed. <laughs> Thank goodness. But these were so dope. I beat the much up tempos to hell. Like, I just wore them everywhere. After basketball season, I was still wearing them. I just could not stop wearing them. They were super comfortable. I just loved how bold the air looked. So when um, Nike re-released -re these this year, I knew I had to get them. And I'm actually going to try to get every colorway. I know the next one coming up is the Bulls colorway that never released with the white with the red uh, lettering. Definitely going to cop those. Um, hopefully the USA ones drop and a few other colorways drop as well. Now I do have another pair of these that I got from, um, it was an 05 pair. It's this here, this all white and reflective silver. So the piping around the air is all 3M and the rest is all white. As you can see, I've worn these, geez, I can't tell you how many times I've worn them, but I've kept them in as good a condition as you can. Clean them often. Other than the outsole, it's pretty much uh, mint condition in terms of the you know, how clean they are. There's of course a little wrinkling on the toe, but what can you do about that? Got these, these are actually picked up 07 off eBay, but these released retro in 05. And so I was super happy to get this. So for me to be able to get this pair and add it to this pair, it truly means a lot because this was significant for me growing up, knowing that I couldn't afford this one I had the much up tempos instead of the more up tempos, and I truly love those. Um, one of my boys actually had this pair in high school, and I was kind of jealous that he was able to afford that. He had this pair. We were both on the same basketball team, but uh, it was super, super dope. I love this shoe. I know some people. This is just straight OD and Nike branding right here, but Pippin, Q, 
killed this shoe. He made this shoe what it is. It wasn't an official Pippin shoe, but these were bananas. Everybody loved them. Super happy I got these in my collection. And again, they're pretty much identical to the original. The only big difference is it's not a clear air unit down here. Before it was clear. Like uh, this pair here, prime example. That's how it looked there. Had the, the Nike Air just like that. But other than that, there's no difference. You still have the same uh, swoosh. As you can see, there's yellowing in mine. You get the Air units, there's yellowing in mine as well. Um, but other than that, they're identical. And I love that about this shoe because Nike sometimes messes up retros. Um, but yeah, that's it, folks. I just wanted to show you this story. These sneakers mean an awful lot to me in terms of the memories I had wearing the much up temples and wanting the more up temples. But let me know if you're able to scoop these down below. Let me know any cool sneaker stories you may have. I'd like to read up on that and chop it up with you guys down below. And stay tuned for more vids that are on the, on the way. And again, at 3,000 subs, I will be doing a major Cash for Kicks giveaway. It's been a long time since I've done one, but I promise you guys will not regret it. So help a brother get to 3,000. And with that being said, it's your boy, the Smart Sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.